back in 2014, I was at a tech conference in Zambia. There was this speech about how drones can make a difference in Zambia. But the speaker said that this probably happened 30 years from today. And sitting there in the audience, hearing that drones were going to make a difference 30 years from now, I just knew that it was possible today already. And I figured I'm not going to wait that long. I'm going to try to make it happen now. It's been a tropical cyclone uh, in Fiji. What we need to do now is to find a local pilot that can go out and fly the mission. Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm the new Globi drone pilot. Today, Globi has uh, over 3,700 drone pilots in 77 countries, and we're pretty much growing the number every, every week. Before, the drones were primarily used to capture beautiful images for the media in general, but we've actually took those beautiful images and created information from those images. So one of our biggest clients is the United Nations, and it's primarily to be able to give them updated information when a natural disaster has occurred. Okay, great job, team. So we have the first images from Fiji that have has arrived. There's been quite some damages. We have created a digital platform that our, our clients can request image data from anywhere in the world. And then that request is matched with a drone pilot that's closest to that area. And the pilot then goes out there, flies the mission, take a bunch of pictures from that area that we then stitch together to a digital map. Uh, and we're using different type of technologies. Uh, AI is one of them, so that we can automatically also pinpoint certain changes. So it could be the number of roads that are flooded or the number of houses that are missing roofs, for instance. But we're also using our drones to be able to prevent natural disasters and prevent disease outbreaks. So it can be to scan over large areas and warn for wildfires or fly over big lake areas and identify where malaria mosquito breeding sites are located. So maybe, you know, a drone comes back from a mission and has actually stopped a malaria outbreak. This little flying thing. <laughs> Throughout my life, I've been to 80 plus countries uh, and I lived in five different countries. My parents worked as doctors globally. So uh, I spent a lot of time in Asia and a lot of time in Africa. I think that's why Globi started as a global company from, from day one. When you're an entrepreneur, you have to see the future before anyone else sees it. You have to kind of live to some extent in your little unrealistic bubble, uh, and then you have to push hard enough for it to become a reality. The Swedish startup ecosystem is extremely good. A lot of successful tech companies come from Sweden, so it's a great inspirational network to be part of. Forbes magazine put me on the list of world's top 50 women in tech. In college, one of my friends and I would say that, uh, let's make sure that we one day know someone who's featured in Forbes, and then it turned out to be myself, which was obviously uh, amazing, yeah. It's a special feeling when, when a drone goes out there on a mission, when the drone actually gets back from a mission and it has captured crucial data that uh, at the end of the day could maybe help save someone's life. I've been called the drone queen many times. I don't feel like a queen, but I do like the fact that times that I've been called drone queen has inspired younger kids to actually enter the world of tech. Hopefully there will be many drone queens out there making a change and making a difference with drones around the world.